Well, the nanoscale is really the scale of function in biology. And so, you know, naturally there are things that we think we can measure or control uh, that'll be able to measure biological function or sometimes influence biological function. The hope is that nanotechnology helps us understand how the brain works and how sometimes it malfunctions by looking at the individual cells and how they interact within uh, a part or even the entire brain. So one of the big advantages we have in nanoscience and nanotechnology is that we've taught each other how to speak across fields. And for whatever reason, other areas haven't been able to do that as effectively. That's placed us in the middle of a number of new initiatives uh, around the world. To me, the NNI has really brought nanoscience and nanotechnology to prominence. It's got other people to look at what we're doing in our field and see where it might apply in theirs, and that's in physics, biology, engineering, chemistry, medicine, uh, the brain, many different areas. And it's really brought a number of interesting problems to us as nanoscientists and nanotechnologists that now the curious among us uh, have, have moved off to explore.